Check it out. That's all the commotion out here. There ain't no machines out here running. They were just doing it, I swear. That's you. What are you, playing jokes on me? No. They just came on, all of them, a bunch of them. They're all running at the same time, everything in the shop. Quit messing around, turn the machines on and off. Junior, <laughs> bring that lawnmower in for me because I'm going to change the blades on it. Don't do it, Pop. It's going to come to life and chop your hands off. What do you mean, don't do it? I got to put blades on that lawnmower and it ain't coming to life. Bring it in so I can put blades on it. I'm not touching it, Pop. You're going to have to bring it in yourself. Be careful. You lazy slacker. You're not doing what I tell you to do. Tacomish Plastic Float Bowl Carbitrator. This is the carbitrator with the plastic float bowl. They call it a Series 7. But nobody knows that except some technical guy. We're going to call it Plastic Float Bowl Carbitrator. Alright, you're going to need basically three tools to take it off. You're going to want to pinch off the gas line. You're going to want a pair of pliers to get the clamp and the fuel line off. And then you need a screwdriver to pop this clip off. You just pop it off towards you, just like that. Bring that clip out of the way, and this whole assembly will drop off. And we're going to go over on a workbench, and I'm going to go over this plastic float bowl carbitrator. This here Series 7 plastic float bowl carbitrator is supposed to be environmentally friendly. That's why they made it out of plastic, so you don't have to worry about it gumming up. It's easier to clean, which was a good idea. Now, the complaint was it would only run on starting fluid. And the guy was in there uh, messing around with it, and this happens all the time. First thing you're going to want to do is pull this gasket off. This gasket usually doesn't go bad. It's got like a piece of metal inside it. I usually just use it over again. And then here's your main nozzle, which has an O-ring on it. You have to pull this out, see? Now, there's supposed to be a spring in there, and this happens all the time when they mess with these carburetors and bring them in. That spring is gone and ain't in there. Here's the spring right here. Part number 632545. And then there's an o-ring on the end of this nozzle which we're going to replace. But that ain't why it's not starting. Now in this, under this screw here, now some of these will have a, a anti-backfire valve on there on some of the riding mowers. This one doesn't. Under this screw is the main jet. And what they use to seal this on some of them is an O-ring. And as you can see, that O-ring is all boogered up and broken. Now you can just find another O-ring and put it on there. Or I use a fiber washer. And that's part number 27110A. I replace it with a fiber washer. All right, inside is the main jet. That's the main jet. There's your main jet, that little hole. Goes in this way. And the screw pushes against the spring. Now, the problem is, on some of these, 
they used a gasket instead of an O-ring. So down inside here, you got to get a pick tool, is a little rubber gasket. Because when they come in and they say it won't start, it only run on starting fluid, that's because this little gasket has got a little tiny hole in it. And what happened is the gas made it swell up and blocked off that hole. So no gas could get to the main jet. So what they did is they replaced it with an O-ring. And that O-ring is 632-547. But I have an O-ring assortment, so I just use a 1 8 ID by quarter inch OD. Now the gasket, or the O-ring, I'm sorry, O-ring, not gasket. The O-ring for the nozzle is the same part number. 632-547. Uh-oh. Customers here, gotta go make some money. Okay, I took care of that customer. Now we can get back to the carburetor. All right, gas comes in. It's got a needle and seat in here. So it works the opposite, you know, of a float bowl that sits like this. It works this way. Gas comes in, fills up the bowl, shuts off the gas through the needle and seat. It's got a rubber seat under there, and this hitch pin is just in there. You can take a little screwdriver and pop that out. But if yours is good, you shouldn't have to mess with it. See, it's got a good float level. So you can spray it out with some carb cleaner if you want, make sure it's all clean, and then we'll go ahead and put it back together. So I got all the new parts, the spring that the guy lost, the washer I'm gonna use on here, and then the two 1 8 ID by quarter inch OD O-rings. So I'm gonna pop this old O-ring off of here and stick it over here with the rest of these bad parts. Stick that on. And then when I go to put the main jet in, cause you don't wanna try to drop this O-ring down in that hole cause it'll get crooked on you. So what I do is I perch it on the top of the jet and then I take the bowl and go over it like this and take the screw and push it in. That way you know you got it in there, seated in there right. Now they use this carburetor on push mowers too. They use it on riding mowers, push mowers. And then tighten that down. It's a very simple carburetor. And then drop that spring in there. And then put the nozzle in. Now you gotta, you can see the groove that was left in the gasket, so you know it goes like this. And then you get it on these two little pins. And then you just stick it back up under there and lock that we're going to go over here and put it on. Come on, follow me, Mr. Cameraman. So I'm going to hold this out of the way. And then you find that, kind of line it up. There we go. Get everything locked in. And then there you go. Just, just like that. Simple as that. Simple as pie. And then just hook your fuel line back on and unpinch it. And then we'll start it up, make sure it don't leak.
Look at them, Junior. Look at all those mowers out there. I don't even recognize half of them. I wonder where they even came from. What are we going to do, Pa? How are we going to get out of here? I guess we're just going to have to wait till they run out of gas. That could be ours. Well, get closer to the shop. Hopefully I can make it. What's up with this radio? What's it doing? Screw me, what? I don't think so. Come on, what the heck? What's going on with this thing? Oh, I know I can trust these machines. Oh. All right, Taylor, we're almost there. Oh, something's going on with the van. It's not making it. What's, what's going on? No, oh, this machine's going haywire. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Those machines would have got to them by now. Yeah, we could only hope, couldn't we, Pa? You think I should let them in? No, don't do it. This is the only time to get rid of them without jail time. That's a good point. Look, the machines take care of them. Yep, yep. Look, here comes that 22 inch Craftsman mower. <laughs> It looked like there was plenty of time, but you know, whatever. Yeah, well, sorry, Slippers. Nice knowing you. Looks like there's even more of them out there now, Junior. Oh, yeah, Pa. And that big one there in the middle? Uh huh. I think that one's the leader. Yeah, that one that looks like the leader looks like it's trying to tell us something. But, but how do we know, Pa? Huh? Me? I'm not getting a note. You saw the note. You go get the note. It's your shop. So you go get it. But you own this place and you're... Just go get the note. Ah, fine, I guess I'll get it. Let's see what this note says. We won't kill you if you fuel us up. 93 octane, please. And they signed it the mower. Wow. Well, looks like they can't kill us, Pa. We got one thing that they need. That's right. Dinosaur, Dinosaur juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are we going to escape this one, Pa? I've got just the idea that's going to take care of our little four cycle friends. All right. This is what we're going to use to fill up that mower. That's just gas, Pa. Oh, it's more than just gas. Go take a look on the back of them pumps. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're genius, Pa. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give them engines alcohol poisoning. Oh, wow. Keep your voice down. I don't want them to hear us. Go open the gate and start letting them in. All right, I will. You're genius, Pa. All right, boys. Come on in. Let's fill you up. Come on. Woo! Why didn't you open the gate for me? Wait. Gates open now, slippers.
You bar thirsty? Drink up, you jerks. Well, drink up, boy. This is some good stuff. It's just what you wanted. 93. <laughs> Hey, that's a good idea! We did it! Yeah! 